Alright guys, so me and Gage just got up for a opening morning. Should be pretty good. We're so tired though. He got like like 20 minutes of sleep last night. He was super excited. We've been waiting for this day for a long time, but um Yeah, it should be a pretty good morning, honestly. The we got we got the birds roosted last night. Kinda had some problems though, because right when we got them roosted and we're putting them to sleep the some some random guy came off on his uh, on his four wheeler like right right when they're like like roosting up in the trees. So um, what happened was they just they just got bumped off farther back into the woods. So it's not not a huge deal, but we'd liked if they were just in the same spot they're used to. But it's all right. With uh, we we got them patterned pretty good. We got a few trail cameras out and scouted a good amount. So it should be should be a pretty like one and done hunt for for gauge at least I mean we got we got everything pretty much set up the way we want it we're just gonna get out there sneak underneath some pine trees like we did last year set up a little uh some cover in front of us and call it good I mean not much else we can do we're probably not even gonna call maybe she's a Jake and a hen decoy I'm not really sure if we're gonna do that or not yet because these birds are they're kind of they're kind of smarter birds they they're a little decoy shy and call shy so well, what we did last year is we just kind of let them come down and went from there. Yes, yeah, so that's that's what our plan is for this this morning. Um, Gage is probably gonna be a little a little grumpy because he's a little tired, but I should be good. Uh, we'll we'll see you in a little bit.
All right, guys. So uh, we just got this nice gauge of carp. It's a nice bird. Um, it's probably about a two and a half, maybe three and a half year old bird. Um, hunt went pretty, pretty awesome actually. We kind of had some trouble this morning. As soon as we got in our spot, um, like 10, maybe 15 minutes before daylight, we had, we had somebody else. We don't really know who it was. Um, come, come through and kind of scare the crap out of us actually. Uh, he was trying to hunt the same, the same pine row we were. So that kind of sucked, but. As soon as we, uh, as soon as day broke, we heard them gobbling all, all morning and stuff. They were pretty responsive. He was calling, but they didn't really want to answer with us. So we, we kind of just let off and let and try and let the, let the birds work where they we know they were where we know where they were going at. They're going to this like nice little green field in front of us. We had a uh, hen and the jig decoy set up in front of us. So hopefully we they see those and went right to them, which is kind of how it actually played out. Um, so there's. there's Three, three birds in the field behind us, we couldn't see or anything because the grass is too tall from where we were at. But after that, we heard them gobbling all over and stuff, so we thought they were going right to them, but what happened was another bird came from another field that didn't even, it wasn't responsive at all to any calling, it just wasn't vocal. So it kind of snuck up right on us and it was at 30 yards as soon as we first seen it, it just came right through the, right through the trees. So that, that came right in and uh, worked right towards us. Uh, it's not really the bird we wanted to get, but it's all right because uh, it's, it's still a nice, nice mature bird. It's not, it's not a jake or anything, and, and it worked. So, so last night, what happened was uh, we, we tried to put these birds to sleep, put them to roost. Um, me, Gage, I wasn't out here. Gage was out here though, and uh, he had them roosted. Had them pretty much exactly where we, we thought they were going to be, just making sure they didn't, they didn't move fields or anything. And uh, right, right at dark, some some guy we don't know who it was either, kind of just rode through on his rode through on his four wheeler, um, scared the birds off the roost. So that was that was kind of a a big upset last night. We were, we were kind of frustrated. We didn't know what to do. Uh, we we just kind of had a trust that we knew where the birds were going to go. So we just we just followed through with our original game plan.